Hey, what's up, besties? It's your girl, E. Michelle, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. If this is your very first time, stop what you're doing, click the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, so you don't miss any more of my videos. And to all of my OG besties, what up? So, all right, you guys, so today's video is going to be about how I kind of do my monthly budget with me, just kind of explaining more in depth, like what my thought process is behind it. And uh, this is a collaboration video with my girl Shea Budgets. I am so excited to be working with her on some um, really great things coming up. You guys may have watched a live video. I will have it linked up here. And we just did a budget talk. And if you see us together, we are the budget misses and i love that name um so y'all be waiting on us we going on tour okay we on a world tour the budget misses y'all get ready for us but we have some really great things coming up so um we're taking time to explain how we do our monthly budget so you guys can get an idea of how that works okay so here's my monthly spread and the first thing that i do is i basically i come to this and i just open it wide open and i place down where all my bills are due so like this is just a general overview it doesn't really have my um, numbers or anything this just lets me know what's due on what day so I can be watching for that it lets me see my paydays for different things um, these paydays are Etsy paydays this payday is my regular payday um, regular payday as well and then I have a YouTube payday so I like to keep track of all of those things in my planner and have a really quick and simple look of how to do that now one of the things that I've gotten a question about several times when I do my budget videos my paycheck to paycheck budget videos I always get questions like what about this if I do paycheck one people are always asking me well you don't have gas you don't have electricity like why don't you pay that and if I do paycheck number two they're like okay well what about your rent you don't pay that so I always get questions like that and in case people don't watch both of the videos they wouldn't see this so I spread my bills out so that I pay half at the beginning of the month and half in the second part of the month based upon my check schedule that way I'm not paying my at one point in time my bills were set up where my rent and my car note were due out of the same check and that although my checks could cover it it left me with zero dollars and that was not okay for me so the way that I did it I separated what I could um, and that was my electricity my cable all that stuff came out in another one and then my rent and my insurance come out in the first of the month and some other bills like that some other smaller bills but it ends up being around the same amount for each pay period of things that are coming out I usually on the second check I have a little bit more to play with than I do on the first check just because that's the rent check but for the most part that's everything is split up kind of evenly um, and I do that again just to make sure that I'm not struggling because I just don't want to do that anymore you can call your um, creditors as far as like your credit card companies and stuff like that um, and you can tell them that you need to change your date and they will allow you to change it um, one thing that I did with my insurance that may happen you may have to pay double kind of they may make you pay double in order to switch your date if it's going to start into a new uh, like um, pay period or um, billing cycle there we go billing cycle if it's going to start into a new billing cycle you may have to pay double but that's you know upon you and you can work that out with them where they'll take out a little bit and then a little bit and not the whole thing so you're not stuck with double the the um, price at the same time so anyways that's just kind of my little spiel I wanted to make sure I shared that with you guys because I felt like I don't really get into that and that is a big part of my monthly budget is making sure everything is separated and if anything ever tends to get too um coupled together if the bills start to get too much in one paycheck then I will be moving things around I have that fluctuation and I'm able to do that within my monthly view so then we go into the actual like budgeting and what I do is I write down what my budget looks like for the whole entire month so I go ahead and I do all of my rent I do my car insurance I do my Etsy fees all of that stuff all everything I can think of I write it down in the due date and the amount that I think that I'm going to pay for it okay so then we have our um, monthly budget that we have here and then over here we have our paycheck to paycheck budget and basically I write everything down as doing that paycheck I write what I'll have left over what I won't have left over what I'm 
overspending on whatever the case may be and then I do a plus or minus thing and I just do that for both of my paychecks then I have my cash envelopes what I start with um, and what I end with and then my sinking funds what I start and what I end with as well and that is how I plan out my month I feel like doing it on a monthly basis and then doing it by paycheck has really really helped me be in control of my finances I get a broad view of what's going on in my monthly and then I also am able to um, break it down to really go in depth with my budget by paycheck and that just helps me because I am I even though I have a boyfriend and we live together I still consider myself to be a single woman because ain't no ring on my finger I mean I have this one this one came from JC Penney's it's real cute real cheap um, but I don't have a ring on my finger so at any given time any point in time anything can happen and it will be put on me so I make sure I can take care of myself and my son by myself and then we go in and we split the bills and things like that so um, looking at it on a monthly and looking on a paycheck that is like really 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 helpful for me so I hope I explained this in good terms enough for you guys to understand that this is basically how I plan. This is how I get myself together. And these are the videos that you guys see. It just kind of went into a little bit more depth as to why I do what I do. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you monthly budget or do you do paycheck budgets? Do you do just one and not the other? Let me know down below. I would love to know what your method and how it's working for you. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Mwah. KK bye